Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, I had a little bit of a mishap. I recorded an intro to this video I made last week uh, and in the editing I lost the intro. So uh, I haven't had time off, I've been working and I haven't been able to make an intro. So uh, this is going to be another intro for that video. Uh, the weather's a little bit different. Um, obviously I'm dressed a little bit different I believe so I might be wearing the same things but uh, yeah so this is a little kind of made up intro for that video I guess but in this video today we're gonna be working on the truck and um, it didn't necessarily go to plan uh, we had a little bit of a uh, mishap you'll see that later on in the video and uh, yeah, it was a, uh, it was kind of a, a adventure a little bit. We lost the truck. Uh, the truck technically wasn't safe to drive, but I hope you like it. Uh, stick around um, and let me know what you think of it. I mean, it's gonna be kind of redundant and a simple brake job that everybody knows how to do, and maybe maybe not everybody, but most people know how to do it. All right, so obviously step one is to remove the wheel and tire. All right, now that you got the wheel and tire off, here is, this is the rotor. Let me see if people talk about you need to replace your rotors. This is your rotor. This entire deal right here. This is your caliber um, mounting bracket. And then these are your actual brake pads inside here. In order to get just your caliber off, you have to take this little one off. And then there's another one right here. I don't know how well you can see that. All right, once you get those off, as you see there, no longer on there you should be able to just move your caliber now to get this mounting bracket off these or bolts there's one right here sorry again for the lighting there's one right there um, and then the other one is right there this bolt right there my other rotor, my rear rotor was uh, rusted to the actual hub, so that was a little bit of a pain to get off. Oh, I actually had to get a hammer and hammer it off, so hopefully this one isn't as stuck. It's a little bit. So I'm gonna have to hammer it too. I might get my uh, PB blaster and get in here, get inside between the, oh my God, I can't think of anything today. Wheel studs, the wheel studs, man, I'm a brain fart. Must be the blonde hair. So anyway, um, I'll probably hammer this off, get it loose, get it off. I'll show you that drum break in the inside and then uh, we'll go ahead and take the pads out, take the clips off, redo these, and yeah, put it all back together. All right, after some pretty hard work and a lot of motivation, I got it off. And just to show you, <laughs> I don't have any kind of mallet, so I used these old 10 pound dumbbell dumbbells and uh, yeah that's what it took to get it off before I forget I told you I'd show you the drums there are drum brakes kind of see see how it's a little shiner right here so that's where you your emergency brake when you have the uh, manual not the electric like I said, I don't know for sure. I think the electric one actually just uses the cowboy itself. It kind of compresses it and holds your brakes, but I could be wrong. 
I got a buddy of mine, Jay, who's got uh, Why'd you do that? He's got a uh, Willwood big brake kit on his truck. And it looks so good. I'd have to get different wheels. <laughs> There's no way those would fit inside 18. And I don't use all the right conventional tools to do the jobs and stuff like that. As you can clearly tell. This, let me get that out of your way real quick. If you can see this, you might already know what it is. It's an oil filter uh, puller. Basically, it just goes around, oil filter, nab it, spin it. But I'm using it to compress the piston. Use what you got. You gotta compress that piston back into the, the hole there. So you can fit them around the new pads. So, there they are. All buttoned back up, nice and tight. You can see the rotors back there. But, look oh what baby dolls go. It's a runt. It's a little runt? Yeah. Hey, little guy. He likes to cuddle. Hi, baby. Hi. That's probably the most interesting part of this video is right here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so as you can see, now we're on to the front. I've already taken off the brace, take off the caliber. Um, the rear, I believe they were 18s. I'm not sure. This is the 19 I got in my hand. Uh, the front are actually larger. They're 21. Uh, the, the caliber uh, bolts are the same size. Those are that half inch. So those won't change, but the actual mounting brackets for your uh, caliber do. Alrighty guys, as you can see, got them back on. So everything's tightened up, everything's good to go. Uh, just got to put the wheel back on and uh, then you have to go do the break-in procedure. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Alrighty guys, now that we got the truck all done, uh, ready to see the finished product? That's right. It's at the shop. Um, the truck was having, like I said, the brake issue. And um, so I, even afterwards, I thought that because I got them hot, they weren't as efficient, you know? So I'm like, okay, I really need to change these brakes. I put the new brakes on, did the braking procedure, but if you sit in your truck, in the truck, you put your foot on the pedal, it'll go all the way to the floor. Um, I'm not low on fluid. There's no need to bleed the brakes because I didn't open them. Um, the only reason you would bleed them is if you open the uh, bleeder valve while you're compressing the caliber. Um, so there's something else going on with it. Uh, I don't know if the master cylinder is bad or what's going on, but I guess I'll uh, keep y'all updated. As of now, she's gone. In the great outdoors, forever free.